Welcome to another episode of Centre Pass Extra, the show that takes you behind the scenes of the ANZ Championship. More Foxtel All-Star team on this week's show, but first let's reflect back on the final round of the competition with the top five performers of the week. Round's now complete. We're certainly looking forward to seeing which players step it up during the final series. Time now to turn our attention once again to the Foxtel All-Star team with Catherine Harvey-Williams. Kath, we've already talked about the goalers. We've discussed the mid-quarters today. It's all about your area of expertise, the defensive circle, the goal defence and goal keeper. Let's quickly recap on our selected athletes from our previous two years. 2011, we had Anna Harrison from the Northern Mystics at goal defence. Liana Debrain played for the Steel back then. She was the goal keeper in the All-Star team. And just last year, Casey Williams. Williams from the Magic, now Casey Coppola, goal defence there, and at goalkeeper was Giva Mentor from the Melbourne Vixens. Kath, before we talk about the contenders for this year, take us through what you're looking for in the goal defence and goalkeeper position. I will do that, but isn't it interesting that in the last two years there haven't been an Australian born defender? And, Very interesting. You know, Australia prides themselves on their defenders. <laughs> Pop yourself back in the mix, Hubs. I'll be making a comeback oh, next year. On, dream on every now and again. You know I was offered a spot in the Mystics team the other day because I was so depleted. I don't doubt it. Anyway, it's not about me. Um, what you look for in a defender is someone who can keep turning the ball over and giving their shooters every opportunity to continue to score goals because that's their role. The ability to shut down their opponent because obviously it's a shooter's game, so the less opportunities they get at goal. The combination, it's so important. You cannot be an individual in that defensive circle. You've got to combine well obviously particularly with a goalkeeper, but also the goal defence, the wing defence, to create that defensive combination. Um, consistency, you know, some players come in and out, fall in and out of a game, fall in and out during the season. It's a level of consistency that it's a high level, get lots of points from me. Um, but just overall, some excitement, the ability to back themselves and really have a go, to turn the game for your side. Yeah. Thank it's you, Kath. You're a hard taskmaster. Let's now have a look at the contenders. Starting off with the goal defence position first, let's turn our attention to our, defend our defenders in New Zealand. Probably the big two that stand out, Casey Coppola, of course, and Kayla Cullen from the Northern Mystics. Have you seen the seasons of those two players? Yeah, look, a, a testing one for Cullen to start with. Obviously, in a team that hasn't been winning games, um, yeah, it's been a real struggle. So she's had to create, come from an emerging player to almost be a leader out on court because so many players have fallen down around her. So not her best season, but probably one where she awakens and thinks it's not as easy as I thought it was because her last two seasons have been quite outstanding. A great athlete and at full flight is really exciting to watch. So certainly one to look out for in seasons to come. Casey Coppola, um, coming really good in, in line with the magic, I guess. You know, when she fires, she can lift the players around her and her team is travelling really nicely. So a slow start, which she seems to have every year and then builds. But, you know, that's, that's not so bad if you're going to build and, and be in good form come finals time. Uh, Kat, the other one in New Zealand who's obviously in Australia, Corletto, generally would be talking about her, but had a bad run with injury in a team where she struggled to adapt to that New Zealand style of play. Uh, again, had to take on the role of a leader and basically, like every other Mystics player, it's just been a disastrous season and one to forget for them. Turning our attention to Australian contenders in our Australian franchises, perhaps Bianca Chatfield from the Vixens and Rebecca Bully from the Adelaide Thunderbirds are probably the two clear standouts in their respective positions. Yeah, I, I can't find anyone else to mention amongst those players. Chatfield for her consistency. It's just fallen away a little bit, but not much in recent times. But, you know, the middle and the, the earlier stages of the season, absolutely outstanding in combination with Mentor. And Bully it doesn't really, really have a bad game. She's very consistent. She's not one of those players that creates a lot of excitement for the crowd and, and as a spectacle, but just does her job. And we talk about nullifying the impact an opponent has. She's as good as any in doing that. Very, very good there, Catherine. And let's turn our attention to the goalkeeper position, starting again with our contenders from New Zealand. Liana De Brain, of course, she was in the All-Star team in 2011. She's a key there, back there for the Magic. And Katrina Grant, always a consistent performer for the Central Pulse. Yeah, had a really good season this year and, and sort of backed it up with last year's performance as well. She's really enjoyed that leadership role. She's a captain of the side and she's grown into it. She took it on at a young age, but really understands the role, is a great competitor and feels very deeply about the Pulse, which is very important. So it's been good in terms of intercept. She's number two there, deflection, she's number two. So really good stats-wise. And De Brain again, a bit slow to start, but really starting to, to come into her own now. She's just 
you know, getting on with age, it's like a fine wine. Just <laughs> the last few years, she's been an outstanding performer. Last year, she was one of the best players in the final series for the Magic. And again, I think she'll have a good final series as well. She loves, I guess, the pressure type situation. So a good season for De Bruyne as well. Yeah, playing the grand final in that victory over the Vixens there 12 months ago. On an Australian front, I guess Shani Layton from the Thunderbirds and Laura Geitz from the Queensland Firebirds stand out as two very exciting goalkeepers that love to have a crack at the ball yeah. and really do supply their team with lots of opportunity. Yeah, and they are the players that, you know, when they're playing well, they will have a go and it you know, creates some excitement. Um, we know that Geitz is a really good leader. She's really developed that leadership role over the past few years and now is captain of the Firebirds. Uh, Leighton, you know, great competitor. You can tell she loves the sport, she thrives on it. A little bit inconsistent at times, um, but at her very best again, one that will win a game for her side. Talking now about the big three English defenders, there's some good defensive yeah. depth over in the UK, that is for sure. Ebony Beckford-Chambers playing for the West Coast Fever, Jeeva Mentor with the Melbourne Vixens, her second year there with the Vixen side, and Sonia McClellan. McClellan very slow to start the season, but her last month has probably been outstanding from her account. Yeah. Beckford-Chambers has been in everything, and Jeeva Mentor, as always, in partnership with Chatfield, a formidable force. Yeah, for consistency, I'd go with Mentor, again, if we talk stats, and that's all not the be-all and end-all, but number one in intercepts and deflection, so you're bound to be having a decent season if you're sitting in that position but just really backing yourself and playing with a lot of confidence and um, going back to, into a show in recent times so you expect that maybe she'll start having a go as the finals beckons uh, Beckford Chambers really good in the team that at times has struggled just being consistent and just has a really smart netball brain so she's certainly had a fine season as well and you're McClomer hand in hand with the Swiss almost very ordinary for two-thirds of the season but of late absolutely outstanding and just another exciting player to watch she hands over the ball and her ability to read the play has been really good so just a little bit too late though um, for McClomber but at least she's finishing the season on a positive note. She certainly is. Well Kath you are the master of the back line. Take us through your top three selections in goal defence and goalkeeper. Yeah, well, top three in no particular order you've got to consider Coppola, Chatfield and Bully. And goalkeeper, this was a bit more difficult. So there, there's a stand, couple of standouts for me, Mentor and Grant, and then there's a, a number of players, and I can't split them, De Bruyne, Geitz, and Beckford Chambers. So that's almost every goalkeeper in the competition. <laughs> Yeah, it almost is. I've gone with the same three goal defenders. I think Coppola, Chatford and Bully are three standouts in that position. Goalkeeper, I've gone with Jeeva Mentor. Ebony Beckford-Chambers, and like you mentioned, in a losing side most weeks, she's always in it, always supplying plenty of ball for her side. And I've gone with Liana De Bruyne. I just think for the past couple of years, what she's done, she's always outstanding in that goalkeeper position. And as you said, at 34 years of age, is an outstanding athlete. Well, that's all we have time for for this week's episode of Centre Pass Extra. Catherine, thank you for all your insights. Love it as always. Make sure you keep a check with all the action of the ANZ Championship. We'll be back with you very soon. Goodbye for now.